Hello world! Welcome back to another Try Hack Me Advent Cyber 2025 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Day 22 room, C2 Detection, Command, and Carol. Let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is obviously start up the target machine. And once you've done that, you can just click check here. Moving on to task two. Before we go to the questions, let's learn what Rita is, as that's what this room is all about. Real Intelligence Threat Analytics, or RITA, is an open source framework created by Active Countermeasures. Its core functionality is to detect command and control, or C2, communication by analyzing network traffic captures and logs. The magic behind RITA is its analytics. It correlates several captured fields, including IP addresses, ports, timestamps, and connection durations, among others. RITA only accepts network traffic input as Zeek logs. Zeek is an open source network security monitoring or NSM tool. Now that we've kind of learned what RITA is at a fundamental level, and you can take the time to read the rest of this if you want to, let's scroll down to the questions. How many hosts are communicating with Malhair.net? Okay, so they've put the challenge file in the PCAPS directory in our home directory. You can see read a challenge.pcap right here. That's the file that we're going to be working with. But Rita cannot read PCAP files on their own. We have to convert them to Zeek logs. How do we do that? Well, we can run Zeek read PCAP, PCAPs slash Rita underscore challenge dot PCAP. And then we need to specify a directory location to put it in. We can do Zeek underscore logs slash Rita underscore challenge. And it should automatically create that directory for us if it doesn't already exist. Press enter. Now we can do ls zeek underscore logs slash rita underscore challenge like so. And we should see our log files that were parsed from the rita challenge pcap file. Now that that's out of the way, we can import all these logs into a database that we create. We can do that with rita import tac tac logs zeek underscore logs slash rita underscore challenge and then specify the database name of, and we'll just call it rita underscore challenge like so. Press enter. Once that's done executing, you should see this finished import message if it succeeded. And now we can actually view our Rita challenge database in Rita itself. So to do that, we can do Rita view and then specify our database name, which is Rita underscore challenge like so. Press enter. And now we're inside the Rita UI. Now you're going to want to view this in full screen to answer the questions as there's no real way to scroll. And if we go back to our first question, we need to figure out how many hosts are communicating with Malhair.net. We can do that by simply counting these rows here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and that looks like all of them. So we'll type in six for our answer. Click check. Which threat modifier tells us the number of hosts communicating to a certain destination? Let's go back to our other tab here. If we scroll back up to one of the Malhair results, we can see that there's two threat modifiers, prevalence and first seen. Well, if we do a control F for prevalence, we can see that prevalence analyzes the number of internal hosts communicating with a specific external host. A low percentage of internal hosts communicating with an external one can be suspicious. So prevalence should be our answer to this question. What is the highest number of connections to rabbithole.malhair.net? Well, let's just go back to our other tab. And all we need to do is look at the malhair.net destination entries here and look to see which one has the highest connection count. So starting from the top, we have 31, 40, 38, 29, 21, and 16. So the one that says 40 will be our answer. Which search filter would you use to search for all entries that communicate to rabbithole.malhair.net with a beacon score greater than 70% and sorted by connection duration descending? So for this one, we need to interact with the search feature. Let's go back to our other tab. Now to be able to interact with the search box, you just need to press forward slash on your keyboard. Then you can press question mark to see a list of different examples and different fields that you can actually specify in the search box. And once you're done analyzing all that, you can just press escape to get back to the main page. So what we want to do is specify destination colon rabbit hole dot malhair dot net as the question described. And then we want a beacon 
of greater than 70%, like so, if I can spell it right. And then we want to do a sort, duration, descending, like so. And once again, you can press question mark to look at all the values and what they represent if you need to, but that is what your search should look like. You can press enter to activate it, and notice how it's condensed our entries to match what we have in our search filter. So let's go ahead and copy this, paste it over here, click check. Which port did the host 10.0.0.13 use to connect to rabbithole.malhair.net? Let's go back to our other tab. We can see 10.0.0.13 is our second row right here. You can press the down key to navigate to it. And you should be able to see what we need over here on the right, but it looks like I'm zoomed in too far. So let's zoom out so we can see the rest of the box there. And we can see that 10.0.0.13 is communicating with port 80. So that should be our answer to this question. And by completing that last question, we've completed the room. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.